Hello, welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, today in my kitchen, I'm cooking um, catfish nuggets. Um, so, I went on, this is my catfish nuggets. And these is all my ingredients that I'm using. That's one cup of flour, one, about a, a half a cup of cornmeal, salt. So, you want to see, jot down these seasons. You can also pause this video. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash my fish. And then, normal time, what I do when I wash my fish, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you can either use buttermilk or regular milk and sit it in the refrigerator for one hour. And then, after one hour, then you take it out and you <clears throat> drain, throw the milk away, drain it, and that's when you start making your batter with your um, flour and cornmeal that's the dry season and then you have um your egg and your milk for the wet season okay i will see you guys in a minute and also like i said again just go ahead and pause this because this is one of my season that i put on my catfish so i got many many recipe in my cookbook so go ahead and if you want to cook this you could go ahead and pause it and you can see the season that I put in it. Okay. So in my cookbook, you know, I just started using this the uh access. So that's that's not this is something I'm throwing in. Like just for more season. Okay, you guys. Alrighty, so go ahead and pause that uh to jot down the season, okay? Okay, you guys, so now I wash off my fish, my catfish nugget and now I mix <clears throat> all of my season for my fish okay so now I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together for my this is all the season that you saw when I told you pause the video this is all the season that I'm going to fry my catfish nuggets okay also I this is my wet ingredient. I would have beat up my egg. Then it all depends on how much that you use. I just put my milk in there. Give it a another stir. This is just a wet batter. <coughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So this is what I'm gonna fry my fish in in my deep fryer. Okay. You guys, I really love this because this this um, deep fry get really hot quick, you know. So it don't take that much. That's why I kind of waited till I miss all my um, <clears throat> season up because it get really hot in two or three minutes. Because if you see, it got the little temperature that you could put on 400 or 350 or however hot you want it. So this is my season, you guys, that I add with everything. So now just wait on my oil to get very hot. So you guys, I'm going to show you how I dip and batter my fish, okay? So what I do, I take one out. Okay, I dip it. See how I'm doing it. Then make sure that you drip it. Make sure it's some people use their hand and stuff, but sometimes and it don't matter long you wash your hand and stuff, but I sometimes it get real messy. Okay, so I dip it. Get a spoon real quick. We can... Okay, you see how I'm doing it? I'm just kind of batting it. That's why I kind of make sure, you know, um, <clears throat> you uh, make sure that when you dip it in the egg mix, make sure that it's not too wet because the cornmeal in the season will get very, very messy and sticky. 
So here's my pan. And I just lay it down to my oil start to get boiling. So you know what I do. So again, um, damn it. Oops, got some of that cornmeal on it, on the thing. But I'm just gonna show you guys one more time how I do it. Okay, dip it. Make sure you drain it real good. Then you put in the flour. And then you coat it with the flour. So I'm going to continue doing this. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay? That's how I do it. Then I put it in here. And see, I like to do it like this because I don't like when niggas wet like that, they get all gooey. And I don't like that on my hand. Okay, then I just put that like that. Then just keep continuing doing what I was doing step by step. Okay, you guys? Now, I'm at the store kind of frying it, frying my catfish. And you don't want to just fry a lot of them at one time, okay? So I still got plenty more, as you can see. Alrighty. And also, you guys, I know I said I was going to cook some cut with the steak fries and stuff, but um, I'm going to go ahead and cook some seasoned fry in my power air oven. This is really cool, you guys. This, you guys should go ahead and invent you one. You will love this. This grease is gonna be very hot, you guys. So be careful when you put it down in the, in the um, grease. And I will show you, because I got one hand, I don't have a stand for no cooking. Okay. So this is how I fry my catfish nugget. So next time you will see, I will have it most of them on the plate. Okay, you guys. Alrighty. Cause I don't think I should get you guys should see me cooking all my fish. You know, cause this makes the video. If I just show you guys all how I cook this fish, it will take at least about 15, well, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, you guys. Alright. But next time, next time I'll show you guys this, um, it will be all fried up, okay? Alrighty. So this takes like maybe two minutes on one side and a minute on the other side. But because I'm doing this in my deep fry, you don't really have to flip this, you know, just if you got help too much. Okay? Alrighty. I wish you could smell this cat this nugget. Oh, the season smells so good. Wow. Yeah. Oops. The skin, the look at it. Wow. See how golden brown is turning? Wow. How can I eat this? This. Smell like a fish house, catfish. Yeah, like I said, remind me of when my father used to fry catfish when I was when I was a little when I was growing up. My father used to go fishing all the time, and every Friday he used to catch a big cooler of uh, catfish, but he used to do the whole catfish and and fry it. And we used to have to clean it. Ooh, I used to hate that. <laughs> but anyway, this kind of remind me when my father, you know, even though he, he fried a whole catfish, I'm just doing the nuggets. So I'm just going to grab it. Wow. Yeah, that's the best thing. And you guys should go ahead and uh, 
share this video and uh, go ahead and uh, make um, do the season like I did it. Okay, you guys, my French fry is ready. That's the timer that go off. But look how golden it is. So this is gonna be one little batch, and I already got it. If I could drain it more, put my catfish nugget. Look, wow. And I just taste a little piece. Oh my gosh, so seasoned. Hey, you guys, look how good golden brown it is. Almost finished. I got one more batch to do. Okay. This is going all ready to fry. Wow, look how golden brown it is. <clears throat> That's how I catch this for the look. That's the color. Yep. And this is, this is how much I got to go, you guys. Yep. And my fresh fries is ready as well. Okay. okay, you guys, I'm almost finished. This is my last one. Again, look how golden brown it is. Take a picture of that. Okay, you guys, I'm finished with my fish, okay, and that's the season fry, so now I'm going to make my plate. Okay, my dinner is ready, you guys. Catfish nuggets. Hope you guys enjoy watching me cook my dinner on Tuesday, February the 25th, 2019, and hope you guys try this recipe out, and again, like I said, all the seasons that I add is very, very good, again, um, you could um, jot down, or uh, pause the video to, to get the season, and I usually use ketchup and hot sauce and stuff. So, again, hope you guys enjoy my video. Uh, like, give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Also, leave me a comment, and don't forget to turn on your uh, notification bell if you want to see what's cooking in my kitchen or cooking on my channel. All right. And you guys have a blessed Tuesday and a happy and a blessed night. God bless. Yeah, this this only took like um, even though I pause and stuff, but it's this is a bit of quick dinner to cook through the weekdays. Uh, especially on a Friday, Friday night. Okay, good night. See you next time in the next video. God bless.